Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. In this uh, video, we'll be talking about how to uh, enter data in SAS. To do this, I'll be creating three variables. I'll also uh, create a new data set and I will be sort of uh, keying in uh, the values for each of these uh, variables. Uh, as you can see, uh, the moment I open uh, SAS Studio, uh, we are in the code window. So this will be an example of data entry in SAS. Right. Now, uh, as you have learned in the previous uh, video, when we uh, create a new data set, we use the command data followed by uh, the name of the data set. So I will be creating a new data set uh, that goes by the name of uh, MP. Right. It is just short form for employee data set. Now, in, this, uh, in the third line, what I'll be doing is I will be declaring the input statement. Remember, uh, the input statement uh, is used to declare the variable names. Just as I declared the variable, uh, just as I declared uh, the data set name in the earlier line of code, now I'll be creating three new columns. The first column that I will be creating is employee ID. This is the first uh, column that I will be creating. The second uh, column that I will be creating is uh, employee name. And the third column that I will be uh, creating is uh, employee team. So these are the three uh, columns uh, that I will be creating. Employee ID, employee name and employee team. Uh, the moment you type the input statement, SAS will understand that uh, uh, employee ID, employee name, and employee team are the three columns that uh, I'll be creating. So this is the data. The second line has the data step. The third line has the input statement. Now to type values inside each of these uh, variables, what I'll have to do is give the data lines statement. I'll have to type data lines followed by a semicolon. Now, uh, once I uh, once I type the semicolon, this is the place uh, wherein I can uh, type the employee ID. Let's say the first uh, employee, uh, the first person's uh, ID is hundred. Uh, let me just call him as uh, Sachin. And uh, in so far as the team is concerned, uh, he belongs to the technical team. The second person's uh, ID is one zero one. I'll call him as uh, Varun, right? And Varun uh, belongs to the admin team. The third gentleman is uh, 103. I can call him as uh, Krishna, right? And he belongs to the marketing team. The fourth person's uh, ID is 104. Her name is uh, Kavita. Now uh, she belongs to the management team, right? So you have uh, four IDs, you have four names and which team do they belong to, right? Let me just uh, type in 105 ID. Now 105 ID belongs to another person. I can call her as uh, Savita. Now she belongs to the operations team, right? Uh, finally, we have another person, 106, right? Let's call her as uh, Radha, and she belongs to the sales team, right? So I have uh, six people's uh, information. I have uh, data about six individuals. I have got their employee ID. I've got their employee name. I also have information about which team do they belong to. Now to end this data line statement, what I'll do is basically type a semicolon and in the next in the next line, I'll be typing the run statement. So what this uh, piece of code does is uh, it will create a new data set called as employee. Where will it, where will it uh, store? It will st uh, store in the temporary uh, library named work. The input uh, statement, as I told you, uh, uh, the input uh, statement allows me to declare the variable names like ID, name, and team. I use the data line statement followed by the data of each of these employees. Without wasting too much time, let me select this particular code. Let me execute on this. Uh, let me just click on this little boy to execute the code. The code has run successfully. Uh, it has uh, 
created three columns as you can see here. The first column is employee ID and you, as you can see here ID of each and every individual is displayed. Uh, just take a look at the second and the third column employee name and employee team. I don't see any information uh, here. Uh, SAS in fact uh, puts a dot here right so which means that uh, there is something wrong with my code. I see the same thing with employee team as well right. So let me just go back to my code. Uh, the problem with the, this particular code is when it comes to employee ID, employee ID is a number 100, 101, 103, so on and so forth. That is a number. SAS has been able to pick it up. But when it comes to employee name, there is a problem. I have not declared this as a string data. So when you look at uh, Sachin, Varun, these are all English words. So what you have to do is basically you have to type a dollar symbol after the variable name the same argument holds good even for employee team what i have to do is basically type dollar now what a dollar uh, does is it tells sas that employee name is a character variable employee id i don't have to do anything i don't have to type a dollar simply because it's a numeric variable however when it comes to employee name and employee team uh, since this is a character variable i have to use the dollar sign let me select this code let me click on the little boy to execute uh, the code. Now, do you see any change? Yes, you can see here six employees. What is their ID? What is their name? As well as uh, employee uh, employee team that uh, they belong to that is uh, being displayed here, right? So you, as you can see here, there are six rows and there are three columns here. Let me just click on uh, uh, the code uh, here. I can type 8 here and execute this once again. Right? What happens here is that it does not display anything. As you can see here, this is a problem. So we'll have to rectify this. Uh, I have not uh, given uh, sufficient space to this. So I can just say 16 and dot. Right now it is able to sort of uh, display the entire word as technical, uh, admin, marketing, management, operations and uh, sales. Uh, what I've done with the 16 is basically I've uh, told SAS what is the width of this particular variable. Uh, if you have uh, not declared any uh, width here, what happens is that uh, it may uh, display uh, the top uh, the top eight uh, characters by default, and then it is going to truncate the rest of uh, the word. Right. So once this is done. Now that I've uh, specified the width as uh, 16, it is displaying uh, the entire uh, word here as technical, marketing, management, so on and so forth. There's another way of uh, doing the same thing. What you can do is basically you can sort of uh, print the output. To print the output, uh, all that you need to do is use the proc statement. Uh, proc is nothing but uh, short form for procedure. You can give the print keyword and then you can say data equals uh, the data set that I am working on is emp, right? And then you can simply run this code. Let me select this. Let me click on the little boy to execute this code. You can see here these are the six. Uh, observations these are the six values uh, these are the six rows that I have and uh, I've got three columns here right so this is how you can enter uh, the data uh, remember just to recap uh, the discussion that we have had I have created uh, the data set emp uh, I have used the input command to declare the variable names if it is a numeric variable you don't have to worry on the other hand if it is a character variable you have to give dollar by default uh, SAS uh, allows you to type uh, eight uh, characters here. Uh, if you have uh, more than eight characters, you can uh, always include, uh, you can always uh, use a different number. Uh, 
you, in the, as in this case, uh, I have uh, specified 16, right? Uh, you can uh, use the data lines uh, statement to supply the data that you uh, want your data to display. And finally, you can execute this code to create the data set emp, right? Now, the question is, where is SAS saving this particular data set? Uh, to the left hand side bottom corner, you see an option called as libraries. You'll have to just click on uh, this particular option libraries. Let me click on the arrow. Now uh, you can see here, uh, when I click on libraries, you have SAS help, SAS user. I also have a SAS work. Uh, finally, I see a work uh, uh, library here. Now this is uh, a temporary library. Now, as you can see here, EMP. This is the file which uh, I had created. If I just double click on this, uh, SAS uh, very quickly fires the data set, right, with the uh, six rows and three columns. So with this, I come to the end of uh, today's presentation. I thank you very much uh, for watching uh, today's uh, video. I hope that uh, you have uh, uh, learned something about uh, entering data in SAS. Uh, I will be seeing you in my next uh, video. I kindly request you to subscribe to my channel and uh, press the like button. Thank you very much.